last week we said that um, gold, we predicted that gold was going to go to be bullish, gold was going to buy, and then that was our expectation that we had on gold. So even when I was doing the analysis at that time, I told you I was in that trade on gold, bullish one, and then I did that on uh, one hour time frame, right? So I entered that on one hour time frame, but here this chart is actually the four hour time frame. So you can see from here that I was in that trade and then this was the outcome. I even said that the gold uh, forecast was going, to, was going to be a massive one. So I think the, the week that we did analysis was on Friday, right? Friday, uh, yes, Friday, February. So we started from here, as we did. So on Monday, uh, price came down to this level. I nearly, very close to my SL, yet I was not bothered because I trusted my system and then I put in my in place all my risk what to reward ratio. I have to trust my system even when it is going against me. That's one 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 good side of what a good trader. You have to believe in the system even when it is failing. Right? It will take time. In fact, it will take um more 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 discipline to understand what I'm saying. It may look very um unlogic, but then if you believe in the system, that is what's going to happen. So if you try to trade to this point. And then I see I was going to what? I see SL. So in the, in the course of the week, this is what happened. A lot of uh, indecision happening, uh, happening uh, up and down, up and down, until uh, Friday, this is what happened. The final massive move. So you could even realize that if I had entered more or extended my SL to this second resistance level, I would have really enjoyed Right, so that is one thing. And I told you, I did that. I didn't go in with much uh, TP because um, I was expecting that the move on DXY would be massive, right? I told you, I do that when DXY is going to work very massive. But I was having some doubts, reservations here and there. So I just had my uh, TP around this place, the second resistance. I have my own strategy that I trade. This strategy, I have not actually come to explain this or show you my, my strategy. I told you the other time that it's something that I have to treat. But because I don't have my data full, I have, I have it on logged on one PC, a 40 PC. That's the problem that the, the reason why I have not treated that yet. But because the strategy is mine, I know whatever content I have there. But if for, for teaching purposes, I have to show you something. That is why. So per my TV strategy, if I'm not very con convinced, I don't go into my full what, TP, right? I go maybe half of it or maybe 70% of it. So this is the, the, what, the first uh, TP. So I just put it in and I hit it. Even if I had put it on the second one, I would have gotten that what, TP as well. So it's my strategy, my trading lifestyle that unless I teach you, you wouldn't know. Uh -huh. So that is why we always say, I always say that if you really trust my system, you can be patient, you want us to grow together, whether you're a newbie, amateur, or maybe advanced trader, so-called, you can come here and then do that in, uh, in my Telegram page, right? If you type uh, CMG uh, dot aura space uh, community effects, you see me. It's just CMG, I think you see it. I will still put the link in there. So from there, I can teach you, I can do other things. And then in the course of the week, I was giving like updates in the Telegram pages. Even I did well on YouTube and Instagram, posting the what the results of my the penny trades and whatever. So I did that. And then in fact, last week, I really I would say uh, thank I would say thank thank God, right? Uh, a very big thank thank you to God because the week was a bit what successful. So I hope you had the same thing. If not, it's because you were not in my Telegram page. And then maybe you were not interactive. If you are not interactive, I am not going to share signals for now. I'm just checking that how interactive people are, are engaging 
if I put anything, I don't see any any result, no comment. Then I, I just I I will just uh, consider it as, as you are not available or you are not interested. But it's it's a page. I have that passion, so I will just continue doing that until you, you come around. If you get to a time that I will even start what uh, going on premium services, by that time it will be too late for me to be doing things for free in that page. The one thing that you need to be aware of. So that is it. So the week was successful on gold. You just imagine if I had entered this on this all my accounts. This is what I was going to enjoy. It went well. GU2 went well. Uh, EU2 went well, right? Even though I was very reservative about the DXY movement, but this is what happened. So it was very successful. Now, for the week ahead, in fact, uh, week 10, right? This is week nine. This is week nine uh, recap. So week 10, uh, what you say is now, because I'm at what we are at the second resistance, right? The second TP. I'm expecting price. Even when market opens tomorrow, in fact, today, tonight, I'm expecting price to be able to say going to work, move above this resistance. But bear in mind, price will either consolidate or uh, retrace, right? Either consolidate, consolidate or retrace, or retrace around this resistance level. And then in the course of this, we see how to move, right? So I'm expecting consolidation, retracement here around the side. Then we know the way forward. So I wouldn't say much here. I would say much when we have done the DXY analysis and then maybe the conclusion is either bullish or bearish, then we can what? Give our focus. So for now, at least consolidation or retracement around this point. And then we know what is going to go happen in the week ahead. So now let's move to DXY. Now, welcome back to CMD Oral Space Forest Nation. This is a weekly forecast that we do on DXY and then sometimes on gold, right? I only do on gold when I see that the probability for that movement is very high. So that is what I do. So many a time I only do DXY, I don't go on gold because go, uh, DXY is very uh, indecisive, right? It's very blurry. You can't even see the direction. So that is one of the reasons, right? So we move to DXY. Uh, for DXY now. So DXY is, this is the four hour time frame, right? I usually trade one hour and then sometimes uh, the what? The four hour. I don't trade, I don't know, I don't even remember if I under a trade on the daily time frame or the weekly time frame, even though I'm a, a stream, but I don't go there, right? I just look at that time frames and then come back to do my entry, right? So this is what happened in the course of what? The ninth week, this is the ninth week. This is where the analysis began, right? The ninth week is here. This is where the analysis began. So we started from here. So on Monday, right, when market opened, right? I told you the market is, is still in the indecisive state, right? A situation whereby you don't even know whether the market is going to be bullish or bearish. I trade what? Uh, when the market is what there's high volume, right? High liquidity. When there's a strong, massive move in the what in the directions of what the that currency or the, 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 the index. That is what I do because this is what you have to do. You don't trade when the market is a bit in, uh, quite indecisive or is very slow. If you do that, you may not have that patience. You may exit too early or exit too late, which can be what very detrimental. So why don't you wait for the market to come to you and then trade? That is what I do. So you realize that many a time, I don't say anything, I don't give comments. I only come and tell you that the market is at this point, it's at that point, we are still hoping that it gets to this point or that. So that is what I do. I'm a conservative trader, whether you like it or not. I, I may be your mentor and this is my style. It doesn't mean I don't have a uh, aggressive strategy. I have them, but aggressive strategy doesn't come uh, that readily, right? So that is the start. So the week began and then price retraced to this point. Retraced to this point. I think the Monday and Tuesday, that's what, that's, that was what happened. And then Wednesday, there was this bullish trend. Thursday, we had this a pullback. And then Friday, this is what, what happened, right? So if you 
can realize or you could realize this, you realize that whatever is here is whatever I said, because the market was indecisive. So just look at this movement. This movement looks like more of what a consolidation. It, go, it goes up a bit, it comes down a bit, it goes up a bit, comes down a bit. So for, for me, for my strategy, this doesn't give me the higher edge. But one, wait, it doesn't mean I didn't trade. I traded this and I was very profitable. Just that the risk involved was what? Minimal, right? Was very manageable. So that is the startup you have to adapt. You are not here to make money and give it back to the market with ease because making it in the, this profession is very difficult. It's one of the truths, the hard truth that you have to learn. Making it very difficult, but losing it is very easy. So if you take time to make it, then take longer time to lose it. Understand me well. I'm not saying you should lose it, but it's part of the business. So take time, right, to make it, and then take higher time to lose it. So that is it. So per the, the forecast that I gave last week, that was exactly what happened. Now, one may ask that you see a lot of some markets on it. I told you, I try as much as possible per uh, teaching sake, for your sake, I try as much as possible not to make my charts very clumsy. Putting uh, indicators here and there, markings, a lot of um, uh, clumsy things. I don't do that. I keep things simple. Keeping things simple makes the market very what? Uh, visible to you, right? Very clear. And you see whatever is happening. Now, in the course of the week, the recent week, the ninth week, in fact, I did a lot of uh, learning. I did a lot of learning. I came to, I had some epiphanies here and there. And I was very happy. So last week, I was no more, more interested in the profit that I was making, but I was more interested in what? Um, uh, enhancing my strategy. And things came very vivid to me. And I really liked it. The last week was very successful, not only in terms of the monetary aspect, but in terms of learning, getting the what, how the market was moving. Now, one thing that you should know is that in this uh, market, trading patterns is very important, right? We have kind of set patterns. If you check in our videos at the intermediate class, kind of set patterns are there. After knowing the, the, the beginners, intermediate is there. Now, intermediate are addressed each of the candlestick patterns in the Japanese word calendar or the Japanese word um, style of trading. I address each of them. Now, besides that, you have to learn more and then we added something or another pattern. We have patterns and we have patterns. So candlestick, the patterns in Japanese candlestick patterns uh, at most involve what? Um, three candlesticks, right? So that is one of them. So we started from one candlestick to three candlestick patterns. So these are normal kind of patterns that you have to do. They show you where the market go to uh, reverse, retrace, or move up or continue. So those are the things. They, they are individual kind of things. But there's another uh, level of what patterns that we trade. When there are more than hundred uh, kind of six, more than four kind of patterns forming for a, lo a longer period, right? That also gives what another edge. Then I think the subsequent. In fact, the recent week, I told you about another pattern that I trade. It looks like a chair or an L, an inverted chair or an L. The market moves, uh, let's say, from this way, right? Consolidate for some time and then move like this. And I really love this pattern. It gives me the edge. It's very profitable to me. About 80 to 90% of my trading was uh, general right, the trading journal. If I watch, I study my trading journal, this is very profitable. If you don't know what is a trading journal, I have, I, I have that link in this video, trading journal, uh, TJ. Go and watch it, it's very important. It's something that you can do away with when it comes to what trading as a profession, as a pro. So that's what one thing that you have to know. So checking that, I realized that this pattern really works for me, right? It looks like an, an inverted chair, or a 10 chair, a 10 a reverse chair of that sort, or let's see, an L shape is one of my patterns that I trade. There's another trade that, another um, pattern that I, I trade, it looks like M, right? 
In fact, a lot of uh, prof uh, professionals have different names for them, right? Right. I call me. I use the word the alphabet to make it simple for me. Some people have a lot of fancy names for them. Some call it the um, uh, double button, right? Double. If I should draw a line here at the top here, double, double button or double button. Some call it that way. I call it the M shape, right? I use the letters. It means it's very convenient for me. The M shape. I call this one the L shape. Some call it the flag. They have some. Like fancy names, right? I don't fancy fancy names. I like to keep things cool. It doesn't mean I don't know them. I know them, but I have a simple way of what learning. Because of the, my teaching style, for teaching sake, I try to make things simple. So I have this shape, the M shape, I have the L shape. Now, in the course of the week, in fact, this year, now, one thing that you can do away with is that every year, the market has something called algorithm, right? The market has a way of what behaving in the course of the whole year. The way the market will behave this year is different from what happened the recent year. And then what will happen in the next year too is different. We call it what algorithm. The market has a way of what changing and then becoming stable. We are only in uh, two months what in the in the year. In fact, this is what the the third uh, the third month. Only three days into it, right? In terms of market, in, in terms of easy market, we are not even anywhere. So algorithm changes. So you as an as a trader, professional trader, you have to look out for these things, right? So that is why your strategy needs to be what modified, right? Updated from now from now, yes, every now and then you have to be updating that. It's like a CV, right? Your trading journal or your trading strategy, I must say, it's like what your 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 CV. Right. Whenever you move from one company to another, you have to what, update your CV. Whenever you have a new rule, a new task, you have to update your CV. In fact, every job, even though they may be, may be, may be, may be in the same field, right, it doesn't mean they are the same kind of job. You, you have to what, update, modify your what, your, your strategy. It's the same thing with what, training strategy. So when it comes, you be updating, removing, adding, studying, you see. So that is what you should do. Now, if you, you you may not get to that level, that is why you should have you may have you should have a mentor or a mentor, right? It's just a matter of studying them, their strategy, how they, they trade, their style. So that is what I do. Now I have the patience and then the passion of what letting us go together. That is why, of course, I may even decide to be a trader. Not every trader is a what is a teacher. That is why many of many of the mentors will give you ask you for your money. They will send you the material and then they will not guide you. They do that and they are gone. I don't do that. I have premium services that I teach people. Is there? I have the free, the free, the freebies that I offer. That you are, you may be enjoying here, right? So that is it. So, so for teaching purposes, I try to make things more, what, explainable, understandable. So that is what I do. So any strategy that I'm, I'm, I'm trying to come up with, I tell you to wait on that and then let's see the way forward. So. That is what I do. So in the course of the week, the recent week, the ninth week, I had this epiphany. So I realized that there's this shape forming. Look at this shape, the V shape that I call the V shape uh, forming. Now in the V shape, the V shape is a, it's a what two or two different what channels, one coming down, and then one starting to go up. That's the V shape. So you realize that the market in that channel, this main channel. Started here and dropping down to this level, right? After I got into that level, just around that level, the market started was zooming up. So it means that I'm expecting the market to be what, moving within this channel for the rest of the week. Now, the channels are channels within channel. So if you're an IT person, I'll call it what nested channel. In the channel, there's a bigger channel. In the channel, there's another channel. It's a strategy that I have now, right? Uh -huh. I don't trade one strategy, but some of the strategies, strategies sorry, have more edge, right? More edge, more higher probability than the others. So when I see them, there's a level of risk that I go in with, right? So like I told you on gold, I didn't go in massively, even though my TP even went to the what, the second TP. But I don't regret. I don't, I don't have to go greedy. 
I love what when my strategy is very what strong, very good. That's what my concern. Because if it is good, then the next time I can go in the lot size that I want. You see, so that is good. So if you realize this, this is what is what happening now. It's very good. Now, if I go on all the time frames, all the time frames, it's the same thing. You see this very one, this very one, right? In it, there's another one coming here. You see, within that, there's a short one. It is from here to here. It's a channel here to here. It's the inner channel. If I look here and here, the bigger channel, the bigger channel, right? If I go on the higher time frame too, you see these lines that I've drawn here. That is why it may, the, the, this chart may look a bit clumsier than it used to be. But sorry, forgive me, just watch the, the chart. If you look at this channel here, see this channel, this red, this purple color up going up, right? And there's another, another one going up. If I go on the higher time frame, you see that there's another V shape. It's actually working. Another V shape. I may not have the time to explain my strategy to you, right? So if you come one on one, maybe premium, or maybe if you should be following my, my channel, I may be giving you a way around it. I may not give you the full thing, the full um, explanation, the full thing, unless I treat my strategy actually. Or maybe until I treat it, if you are on my premium services, I may have time to teach you right away. Right? I may have time to teach you right away. But for this YouTube channel and other channel, I may have to have my, my data and to, to treat it that way. So that is what is happening here. It's very, 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 very prob probable, right? So that's what is happening on the four hour time frame. If I should go to the daily uh, time frame, right? You see, see what is happening, right? The daily time frame, even looking at this very channel, it's the same thing that's happening, right? That is, that is what is happening. If I should come to this level too, right? So on the daily time frame, you still have this thing here, right? On daily time, time frame, you still have this one. So you see that another thing, another thing in that V. If I go on the higher time frame, like the, the weekly, the weekly time frame, you see what is happening here? You see what is happening here? You see? So I like higher, higher edges in this market. So you see what is happening. So on the higher time frame, you see this, the purple colors that I showed you on the, the, the four hour time frame, this is what is happening here, exactly. The same thing happening here. Now, on the other side of the hand, see what is happening, As the exact thing. It's coming to this level. So you see, so in this week, I may not actually tell you this or that, but once I'm in this handle of that the V shape, then the system is working. So for me to be, more cogent and then tell you the actual thing, then you have to be following my uh, Telegram channel. Everything is there. I'll put the link there. Or better, so if you go to tele uh, Telegram and type cmg uh, all right space dot cmg dot all right space uh, com uh, FS community or whatever, you see me. Or you can even DM me my number, email, and then you go in. So you see what is happening. Uh -huh. So this week, the analysis will be, will be very easy for me. I don't have to be focusing on each of the candlestick patterns, even though I can do that. But for the purposes of time, and then how lengthy the video is going to be, I won't waste my time here. So you see what is happening here. Now, bear in mind, whatever I'm doing is not deviating from my uh, support and resistance level. When prices get to that resistance level, there, is, there will be a, a reaction. It's happening. It's actually happening, right? The candlestick patterns are not changing. They look at what is happening here. We are this fair value gap, right? Uh, fair, fair value gap, price has stopped into it, right? Price has stopped into it, rejected. This behavior this is going to, you are going to go, go back. So yet rejected. Now on this very recent week, price has been rejected again. Now these rejections are still within the V handle shape, right? So it could get here, and bounce back because here there's a what a support trend line and a support trend line means that when price get there they will have the high probability of what bouncing what back moving up so you see so my confluence are very 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 strong i don't need to do a uh, boost but whatever i'm saying i'm saying this because i have confidence in my setup 
whether it's going wrong or right, I still have confidence in my strategy. I developed it. Nobody developed that for me. I trust it. So you see, so I believe in confidence. If their confidence are hammering, 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 then are going, are going. So at the whole week, I may even stay without trading. But when price gets to that level, I'm going huge. So the whole of last week, I traded twice, only twice. And now these trades uh, were all profitable, were, were all successful. Now, I don't trade one account. One thing, one may say that if, he, if I traded twice, then it, I didn't have much of what, much profit. Do you, okay, now wait, let me ask you, do you know how many lots I went in? You know the contract side I'm trading, you don't know. So one trade for me, if it's successful, it will cover up for maybe a whole month or two, right? And then I don't trade, besides that, I don't trade one account. I have a number of accounts. I have challenges, uh, challenge accounts, maybe real accounts, and then competitions and accounts that I trade. So you see, so I believe in high probability set setup. If it is one, I'm, I'm okay. So you see what is happening. Now, so if price gets here, now price, we have what? The first um, support trend line, price has gotten there, right? The, the second one too, price is yet to get to the, around that place before the, the large one. So if, well, if price are around this support level, the three, one, two, three, I'm still within that trade. So per uh, conservative strategy, I could be trading within this. Per con my conservative strategy, I could be trading within. Now when price gets to this support level or maybe the last one, then I'll go in huge. So it's a matter of what? Monitoring the market. Don't rush. Monitor the market. If you get to your level, enter massively. If you can't, enter massively with proper risk management. So that is it. So this week, I'm not going to talk a lot. I may give you live updates. In fact, I will give you live updates in my Telegram channel. Right? So that is what is happening. So if you see, look at this. So this is the huge what? The V-shape. Within the V-shape, see what is happening. Price is respecting it every level. Every level of is respecting it. I'm telling you, look at it yourself. Even if you don't understand anything that I've been looking at it, you understand that price is happening nicely. See what is happening here. So now my conclusion is that if price in, within the week, if you are letting a price get here early within the week, then you'll be expecting what price what bounce up. If it doesn't get there early, price may what market may not be busy, low volumes could affect it, right? Uh, low, much of low impact news could what? I delay it, right? So that is it. So per each of the, the channels, we'll be having different views. I hope you understand me. Per each of the channels, we, we may be having different views. So for more information, please like, subscribe, share, and then follow us in our uh, Telegram pages page as we say so i think that will be all for this week what analysis and this is the third week analysis february uh three right february three if i should go down to this is what you are seeing here you see so we are this edge around the first value gap it has stopped between. So it's reversing. It means that whatever we did earlier is, is good. Right? So that is it. That is it. That is it for the week. You see, if I do it this way, it looks very clumsy. Yet we have to look at the, the current price level where we are now. So you see, if you look at it, look at this. On one hour time frame, right? On one hour time frame, look at it. We have the big channel. This look at this big channel, right? And then when it comes here, the V shape is also here. Here it looks a bit quite blur or like you can't you can't really understand what is happening. That's why I'm, I'm telling you the, the channel, the main channel. The main channel is this one, this one, and this one, and then this one, and this and this one, right? There's another one. Below, when you go, you move to the higher time frame. So you see, it was moving, consolidating within. 
Then when we got the, the, the shape changed, the market starter uh, structure changed. And then we have it in the, uh, in the what? In the inner channel. And now the spread happened a long time. Very nicely. Look at it. Here. Move here. Move here. Move here. Now, when we got here, we got to, instead of moving up straight away to this channel, we moved to the what? The bigger one a bit. And it got, it was what? Rejected nicely. The one we got here, try consolidated. If you see this rectangular box, it means that a consolidation happening. It means that market is indecisive for me. So I have to wait and then do my market. So whenever you see this market, it was uh, uh, consolidation period. Now you see what happened. To be able to was going to start, it was enough for me getting to this level. And then came back here, try what broke this first inner support level and then go to the second one. Now the second one, you see what is happening. It's being rejected at the moment that we are now. So if you drop down and go to the second one, the 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 the, the next one, or you can still be what consolidating within this channel. So you see. It. So thank you very much for joining this episode. Uh, I wish you a happy trading week. See you in a various channel. Bye for now. <laughs>